Question 6. You can use this conversion graph to change between pounds and dollars. So we have pounds along the bottom, dollars up the side. Use the conversion graph to change five pounds into dollars. Whenever trying to solve anything from a conversion graph, it's a good idea just to draw lines on to show where all your calculations are. So five pounds is at the bottom of the graph where number five is. We draw a line up to the graph and then across to the dollars axis, which shows that should be eight dollars. Ella has two hundred dollars and eight hundred pounds. Her hotel bill is six hundred dollars. Ella pays the bill with two hundred dollars and some of the pounds. Part B, use the conversion graph to work out how many pounds she has left. There are quite a few ways of doing this. I'm going to just demonstrate one of them. I'll put a link at the bottom just to show you another potential solution that I used in the foundation version of this paper. So for this, she needed $600. If she's paid with $200, it means that she's used... $400. So out of her £800, she's used $400. Now we can use the conversion graph to show what that would be in pounds and take it away from her total. Now, the problem with this is that we don't have $400, but we do have $4. So we'll use the graph to show what that would be in pounds. In this case, that's approximately £2.50. So $400, if I was writing that in pounds, would be 100 times that value. So that would be £250. Now that's how much she's used. She started with 800 so the amount that she has left would be £800, subtract the 250 which leaves her with £550. Again, your answer might be a little bit different from that, depending on the accuracy of your graph. As long as you've shown where your values have come from, you should still get your method marks 